Do you struggle with back pain? Do you wish you could just bend over and pick things up without worrying about hurting yourself? Hey there, it's Ollie and Brody from B Mobile Physiotherapy, the experts in fitness and strength for over 55s. We often work with clients who have back pain and very often they're worried about leaning forward to pick up heavy objects like the groceries or things in the garden. So in this video, we're gonna give you three exercises to strengthen your back because this will help with back strength, of course, but also the confidence to use your back in everyday life. Exercise number one is the glute bridge. The glute bridge is a great exercise, particularly if you've got a really sensitive back, it's a good starting point. And it's gonna really challenge those muscles in your low back and your glutes and even your hamstrings in the back of the thigh. So to do this one, Brody's lying down. You can see his knees are bent to about 90 degrees, so it's not that important. He's got his hands by his sides for a bit of stability. And all he's going to do is lift his hips up as far as he can and slowly return back to the ground. And as he's doing that, he's really feeling that one in his glutes as they contract and lift his hips up just like so. Okay. So we're going to start with three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. Now, if that was too easy, we're going to make it an elevated version. So we're going to pull the chair in. And Brody and lift his feet up onto the edge of the chair. And that's increasing the range of motion and also the load required to be lifted by the glutes and the hamstrings. So that's one way to make it a lot harder. Now, if you're experiencing some pain with either of these versions, as long as it's tolerable, we would encourage you to continue. But just take it nice and slowly to begin with to give your body a chance to ease into the movement. Okay, moving on to our second exercise, which is a bent over row. Now this is great for challenging the back muscles in a prolonged position, which is very common in activities like gardening and many household duties. You're gonna use a weight for this one, just any weight that you can comfortably manage. So what all he's gonna do is lean forward using a bit of furniture, this chair in this case, to have some support. And with that weight hanging down, he's going to row it up towards his armpit. So these upper back muscles like your rhomboids and traps are providing this pulling motion while the erector spinae, which go down the side of your spine and support it, are holding that prolonged position. And this furniture gives him a bit of support so it's a bit easier if his back is sensitive. To make it a little bit harder, we're gonna take that support away. In this instance, Ollie could have a weight in each hand. He's going to lean forward to a comfortable depth and then provide that same rowing action, pulling up to his armpits. Generally, the further you lean over, you're gonna find it gets a little bit harder. So you can play around with how far you're leaning to make sure that exercise is challenging, but tolerable for you. Now, lastly, if you don't have dumbbells, that's fine. You can use any object from around the house to add a little bit of weight. A backpack would work really well. Same position, bending over and just pulling it up towards your chest. So there you have it. Those are the versions of the bent over row. And you can do three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions with a weight that is challenging but comfortable. Now, before we go through our final and most important back exercise, I wanted to let you know about our B Mobile online platform. It's completely free and it's got full strength, cardio, and balance workouts for you to take your health and fitness to the next level. So make sure you check it all out by clicking the link in the description below. The most important exercise if you're worried about bending forward to pick things up is simply practicing that movement and a great way to do that is with the deadlift. Many of our clients with low back pain or other back pain in general are worried about this movement and nervous about bending over to pick things up, but you don't have to be. You just need to find the right level to start with that's gonna challenge you appropriately without being too much and we're gonna show you just how to do that. Let's run through the deadlift. We've got the kettlebell here. If you've got one of those, that's great, but as we said, you can use any weight or object that you've got lying around the house. Now, don't get too hung up on the technique here. A lot of people think that's really important, but the research shows that what's more important is that you build up slowly over time. So starting with a nice lightweight, Brody's got his feet either side. He's simply bending forward and standing up straight with that weight. Okay, now if he's finding that he's getting some back pain doing that, we've got a couple of tips. The first thing would be to, of course, reduce the weight. Or alternatively, he can prod the weight up on a thick book like he's got here. And whenever he goes to do the deadlift now, it means that he doesn't have to bend over as far. And hopefully that means it's more tolerable for people with low back pain. Okay. Now, you could use a backpack once again. It's a great option. You can load that up with some heavy items you've got around the house. And doing this is really challenging those back muscles and allowing Brody to build some confidence in his back 
and with picking up heavy objects around the house or the shops or in the garden. Now over time you can reduce the height of the surface so go all the way down to the floor and that will make it a little bit harder and of course you can increase the weight so start to use heavier weights as you feel stronger. So that's the deadlift like with the others you might start with three sets of 10 to 15 reps with a weight that is challenging but you feel comfortable doing it and it's not provoking too many symptoms remembering that a bit of pain with this exercise is okay. So incorporate these three exercises into your regular routine and you'll be on your way to a stronger and more confident back. And make sure you check out this next video on screen to continue elevating your health.